are here. Hey, hey Matt. Hey, Matt. Hi. Just getting started now. Yeah. This meeting is being live streamed. Got it. Okay, so we're on Facebook. Lord, we thank you for loving us, for dying to set us free. We thank you that you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lead us, guide us, fill us with your spirit. Let us really understand your word and not only be healers, but be doers of your word. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Good morning, all. Hello, all. Matt to my right, and Rich to his right. For those of you who are just joining us and haven't been um, breathlessly waiting for today's presentation. So we're we're in Passover week. We we are in the triumphant week, the Passion week. We are we are in this incredibly important time between the triumphant entry and the and the cross. And um, again, the uh, the disciples were thinking this would be more arming the troops for the takeover kind of thing. And instead, he's ministering, he's telling parables, he's challenging hypocrisy, he's doing, he's acting like Jesus. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. he is Jesus. Yeah, he is Jesus. <laughs> uh, right, so, uh, right, this is following the wedding feast parable. Uh, where the one of the guests lacked the proper attire uh, and we're moving on to uh, Caesar and taxation here beginning at 15. We're using the uh, New American Standard for starters uh, and we're Matthew 22 15. Then the Pharisees went and plotted together how they might trap him in what he had he said. <laughs> so you got to imagine this kind of huddle thing um, very respected lawyers and government officials in their very um, ornate, obvious garb gathered together to see how we're going to take them down. Hmm. Okay, what, what do you think? Okay, well, we could, well, what do you think? What, okay, let's do this. And then, you know, so uh, the, you can just imagine these heads bobbing in this conversation and everybody's everybody's into the conversation and everybody has their own opinion about how we're going to take them down because because they're politicians and lawyers and stuff so they said oh, okay we got it yeah this so is... they they conspired together to kill christ and to, to put him out of out of everybody's mindset yeah this is a major portion of the uh sanhedrin which was like the kind of like the senate for the temple right uh, and, and for the uh, Jewish people. Huh? And for the Jewish people. Yeah, right. Well, it's a theocracy, so sure. Right. So uh, just so I can, I can say that in a longer sentence. Um, so the religious leaders were also part of the ruling people, and but they are under Roman rule. So right. they, are, they are an occupied territory that gets to operate somewhat freely as long as they don't violate any of the Roman things that make them dangerous to Rome. Yeah. So Rome had really two law, two rules. One, pay your taxes, and two, give homage to Caesar. That's right. And they had that, that that's where the Christians <laughs> had a problem. But uh, essentially, if you if you did those two things, you could pretty much live in peace with Rome. That's right. Well, but, like with, uh, of course, Saul was a citizen. I'm sorry? Saul. So it was a citizen of Rome, right? Of Rome. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And these yeah. guys weren't. Mostly right. these guys weren't citizens of Rome. Yeah. They were from Jerusalem in that area, so they weren't. Um, right. But Paul came from Tarsus. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, this is where the Herodians actually helped him out because the Herodians were appointed by Rome. That's right. And Herodians claimed some uh, of the same heritage as the Jews. So. Okay. Let's, let's do 16. Anyway. We'll bring the Herodians in. Yeah, uh, so the, the, these are the Pharisees, a major part of the Sanhedrin. Um, Sadducees, as we see coming up, uh, is another major part. But, the, but anyway, um, the Pharisees are coming after him, and they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, 
We know that you are truthful and teach the way of God in truth and do not care what anyone thinks for you. This is all set up too. This is all saying, you know, you're going to tell us what the truth is. In other words, you're going to, you're going to say the truth no matter what anybody thinks about it. You're going to speak truth to power here. Yes. We're putting you in that position <laughs> for you are not partial to anyone. Okay. So just backstory on this part of the, the Jews disliked the Romans, but they had to live under occupation. But there were a group of prominent Jewish people who were followers of Rome. They liked the stability that Rome gave them. They, they didn't mind sacrificing their freedoms for stability. And we... <laughs> That's the Her up, Herodians. Herodians, by the way. They, yes. they, they picked up the name Herodians because, yeah. because of their affection for Rome. Huh. Well, now, Herod but, was appointed by Rome, so right. they got the political inside track. Why would they rock the boat? That's right. So it's like well, the it's Vichy, the Vichy French uh, during World War II. They yeah. they were thrown in with Hitler as soon as... Or the Middle East. Yeah. The current elites in the Middle East were just the first ones to go, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. There you go, guys. So, so the commentary we were listening to this morning talks about how oily this is, how slick a uh, well, we know that you're absolutely going to tell the truth. Now we're going to give you an impossible question, and it's going to show you stupid and that you aren't going to tell the truth. Well, that's what, yeah, it's not and, the and stupidity. To, it's, it's, you know, that you're going to have to take sides here after all. It's that's the right. side you're going to take that's the issue. You're that's going to right. make you're mm. going to make enemies with roughly half the population, no matter which way you speak. At least that's, that's right. what they think. Well, they, they, they actually, I don't know if they do think that. <laughs> At this point, I don't know what they think. They have to. Do this. Well, that, I mean, that's the that's their. Th I believe yeah. that's the. You're the, gonna turn up and he's gonna go. How the oh, Fred Pharisees taught it. Oh, you got me, guys. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. Because I mean, some of them at least it's like this guy's really God, you know, and they are like some of them are like. I well, think they're, they're, it's, they their probably, motto overall is to try to get the yeah. crowd, at least half the crowd, health the population against him. That's right. So yeah, so those, they'll they'll do what they, they've done to the prophets so the, in the yeah. past. So they'll pick up stones and they'll they'll murder Jesus with them and they'll go, yay. Or, or they'll let the Romans murder him. Either way. Hmm. Oh the so, crowd will murder him or, or the Romans will murder him. But anyway. Will the Romans let them? Um the, the law was very strict about it and yet um oh. not so much. We could those guys are picking up rocks. Uh, I think I'll go on coffee. <laughs> yeah. I mean, literally, we like see when Stephen got killed. Stephen got killed. Yeah. Um, and they weren't allowed to execute him, but they really didn't stop it. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you put a mob together, all armed with rocks, you get some choices to make. Mm. We can go in and protect Stephen, but they did go in and protect Paul later. We can go in and protect Stephen, or we can just go on coffee break and just, you know. Let oh, it was end. it that? Yeah. Oh, how'd that happen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got rock holes in him. Anyway, yeah. 17. As much, yeah. As much as they lay down the, role, the law, it's capricious rule in the end. That's right. Uh, let's see. Teacher, we know you truth, yeah, et cetera. Okay. Not partial. Then tell us, what do you think? Is it permissible to pay a poll tax to Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their malice their and malice, said, "Interesting word." In other words, it sounds like he, they're flattering him, but he knows better. Yeah. Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used to uh, to pay the poll tax. And they brought him a denarius, and he said to them, "Whose image and inscription is this?" They said, "Caesar's." And he said to them, "Then pay Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and pay God." the things that are God's. Give to God what the things that are God's. And hearing this, they were amazed and they left him and went away. <laughs> <laughs> so in front of the crowd, they've got this trap question that they've all designed in committee and he splatters them with it. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, uh, uh, in his wheelhouse and he crushes the thing. And it's, and not only does he crush their their hypocrisy, but he teaches us about, like, he teaches us, it's not just malicious to crush the, uh, the attack of these, of these people, but it's a teaching tool, too, so that we can know, 
you know, give, give to Caesar what's Caesar's and give to God what's God's. And really, if we live that way, that would be, if we actually live giving to God what is God's, um, it, it, you know, life would be much better for us. Mm -hmm. Well, and it, it kind of depends on what you consider to be Caesar's and what you consider to be God's. That's well, right. That's so, right. Yeah. Amen. So, okay. So we've crushed one one group that comes to visit Jesus on the way to the cross. Yeah, those are the conser those are the conservatives, the um, Pharisees. Now we deal with the liberals. Okay, Jesus answers the Sadducees. The now others... let me tell you about the Sadducees because the Sadducees, old joke, were Sadducee because they didn't believe in the resurrection. They were the modern liberal theologians. When you die, you, you rot, and there is no afterlife. There is no hope. There's no promise. So like rich things break out the booze and have a ball because if that's all there is, and that's where the Sadducees live all the time. They mm -hmm. they live in the real in their own reality mindset. This is it. I'm gonna go for the gusto here. I'm gonna get all I can get from me. I'm gonna protect my own. And so there is no resurrection, there is no hope. There is no promise. It's a matter of grinding it out here in life. God is a God of the dead. It's a matter of personal reputation. Well, no, God is God of the dead. Yeah. The God is well, right. God is God of the dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the uh, Pharisees, it's Jesus makes a comment that God is not God of the dead, but he's God of the living. That's right. That's but they believe out. that God is God of the dead. That's he just right. action figures on a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we right. are. Yeah. Right. 23, please. Yeah. Yeah, they live for reputation. They live for um, their legacy. How are they? How are these people going to be remembered? That's they're right. Chinese. They consider that they, yeah. you know, sort of a almost Oriental kind of yeah. uh, orientation. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so house, this a great this, name. Yeah. So saying, okay, so uh, we say there there is no resurrection. This is, this is the Sadducees came to Jesus and questioned him. Verse twenty four saying, teacher, Moses said, if a man dies having no children, his brother as next of kin shall marry his wife and raise up children for his brother to keep the brother's legacy alive, obviously. Yes. Verse 25, now there were seven brothers oh, uh, among nice. us and the first married and died and having no children, he left his wife to his brother. It was the same also with the second brother and the third down to the seventh. Last one. So this is all. These are actually wives. These are. You know, these are. Um, she went. She went through seven marriage the Job's ceremonies. Brothers. These are all legit according to the law. The Job's brothers. Yeah, the Job's brothers. This is the female version of Job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd sit at her dinner table though. Yeah. If she's killed off six of my brothers. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's true. <laughs> right. How did they die? Good question. And a number like that would certainly raise some eyebrows. But anyway, verse 27. <laughs> Last of all, the woman died. And the resurrection, whose wife of the seven will she be? For they all had her in marriage. In okay. other words, legitimately. Just to remember here, these are people who do not believe in the resurrection. They do not believe in life after death. And they're framing a question to um, to justify themselves, how foolish this afterlife is, because these seven guys have the same woman, and, and it's going to be a mess in heaven. Mm. Um, though they wouldn't object to some of the Old Testament prophets having seven wives, but they would object to this wife having seven husbands. Um, and in the resurrection, so they're asking him a theoretical question to try and prove their own theology. Uh, and also to trap Jesus and to say, I mean, how could Jesus possibly say it would be the fourth guy or mm. the sixth guy? I mean, this is just a, a case of absurdity. And the next one marries her and the next one marries her and the next one marries her. And now we're down to seven. And so, like, this is just overwhelming. And Jesus is not overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Right. Verse 29. But Jesus answered them and said to them, you are mistaken. Since you do not understand the scriptures, nor the power of God. Don't, so scriptures and God, you're out of touch with. Yes. Okay. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. But regarding the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was spoken to you by God? And this is Old Testament. 
I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. When the crowds heard this, they were astonished at his teaching. Yeah. Yeah. I think that God, there's a, there's three ways of knowing things. It's the subjective, the objective, and the perspective. And that's the the realm of divination. Like when you get, um, uh, was it a soul? He goes to a, a woman and he speaks to the uh, spirit of Samuel. Hmm. So we can see in the Bible that that's actually plausible. Yeah, to but speak not, but to not recommended. It is also a death sentence. Yeah, it's not recommended, but I think this the, the, the living kind of a thing is that the, the way God kind of keeps us okay. is in that way. Hey, we are not action figures on the ship. Oof, God, yeah, doesn't, yeah. God doesn't take us out and go, I'm Moses. <laughs> we actually are preserved in a way that when we our bodies pass, we're preserved in a way, yeah. in, 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 in the sense that we're sort of familiar with. That's so right. you can kind of like, you can kind of, kind of, this is really true. You can see that it's very true. That's right. <laughs> and so the God of the living not of the God of the dead. Yeah, that really just drives it home. Like he's, right. it, it, it would just be like we're just he's playing with our corpses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right. all right, I'm past the bat. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so he's the God of the living, and which shatters the Sadducees' theology because they quote. Uh, they're, go they're, back up. Uh, go back up to uh, twenty. Wait a second. You don't understand scriptures or the power of God. Yeah. So, but but they bent the scriptures to say that life is ends at the grave, and they bent the scriptures to say God has no power for resurrection. And so, they, like this is this is the core of what you're of what you're grown up to believe. And but this is what it really says is that God is the God of the living. And it's interesting too. The first words in thirty two are. I am the God of, and Jesus uses that sentence um, numerous times about himself. Mm -hmm. This is about the Father. The Father is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And the crowds heard this, and they were astonished at his teaching. So these Sadducees, so he's taken on the Pharisees and the Herodians, and now the Sadducees come after him, and 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 then they walk away with their heads like mm -hmm. like they just got punched out and the crowd's going yeah <laughs> that's what we're talking about yes there is a resurrection yes i will see my loved ones again yes yes, yes. so the way that death works we don't know at all but we do know that we are body soul and spirit and our bodies that turns into dust and eventually we get resurrected at the at the rapture but the soul and the spirit and your your soul is, is the stuff of you that is non-corporal uh, your your memories your emotions your, your personality thinking. your aura charisma there you go your personality good your aura your and the, and the character is part of us that that um, gets so intertwined with our soul uh, from the holy spirit that those that part of us that is the most important part by the way instantly the first second is in the presence of the Lord Jesus so and and you just think about how how brutal it is when people think that you have to go through a whole process to get into the heavenly kingdom beyond what Jesus did see there's there's a teaching out there that says well Jesus paid for some of your sin but you got to burn for a while to get to get the rest of it purged out of you. Because oh. Jesus is like, he's not quite as infinite and powerful right. as you think he is. That's right. He didn't have gas in the tank. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But, <laughs> but you can help him if you just burn for, and then and then the indulgences came in because they found some really cool people who lived magnificently wonderful lives. Mm -hmm. And you could buy some of their goodness to, to get you out of like cartoon credits. Yeah. <laughs>
thing we have to keep in mind, though, when you're talking about these these parables and so forth, it's Jesus talking about them, and he's talking about them before he died for the sins of men. That's right. And he talks about them on the way to dying for the sins of men. Right. Doing okay. that right now. This so, reads pretty well in the um, uh, message version. Okay, so right. we just give this a quick shot here. Go, go back up. Go back up to 50, 13 now. Well, you want to do both? Uh, sure. The sure. engraving as well as? Sure. All right. So here we are with um, the uh, tax 15, issue. Right. Um, tax issue. Now, this is uh, the message version, uh, Matthew twenty-two fifteen through 17. That's when the Pharisees plotted a way to trap him into saying something damaging, trying to get him to trip up and da-da. Here we go. They sent their disciples with a few of Herod's followers mixed in to ask, teacher, we know you have integrity. Teach the way of God accurately and are indifferent to popular opinion. Lots of fake flattery going on here. And don't pander to your students. So tell us honestly, like he could tell them any other way. Is in the right to pay ta is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? They really think they got him cornered. Okay, Jesus knew what they were up to no good. He said, oh, why are you playing these games with me? What are you, why are you trying to trap me? Do you have a coin? Let me see it. They handed him a piece of silver. Uh, 20, this engraving, who does it look like? And whose name is on it? They said, Caesar. Then give to Caesar what is his and give God what is his. The Pharisees were speechless and went off shaking their heads. Nobody said, what if he says, <laughs> give it to Caesar and give it to God. What if he says, ah, it's, it's, it's nice that Jesus does that. They, they yeah. didn't even think that. They, no. didn't, they didn't think there was any possible way out of this. Yeah. 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 It shows how, yeah, it shows how narrow-minded they are, so That's limited right. in their consideration. And these are the guys that studied yeah. scripture down to the spaces between the characters. Yeah. And, they, you know, they think they got it wired. And guess what? <laughs> yeah, you can see like they're, they're, they've kind of caught off their thoughts. And so nothing can get in. That's and right. so Jesus is like the snake in the garden at this point, because mm -hmm. they've, they've well bound themselves up so tight, they can't see the rest of the world. So Jesus just goes like, <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Marriage and resurrection. Matthew 22, 23 through 28. That same day, Sadducees approached him. This is the party that denies any possibility, any possibility of a resurrection. They're just flat out against it. Where did that they come asked from? teacher. So you know, where did that is that what influenced by the what now? Is that like a what is that influence? Hey, it's weird. It's strange. So there was a whole they just, number they're of just natural thinkers. They just right. oh, it's just like uh, you know, you get a hundred people die in that room and they're gonna yeah. think yeah. Uh, because in the Bible there's nothing explicitly saying what happens. Oh, yeah, the, yes, there is. Well, well, yeah. not to the degree that it could prevent the formation of a sex. That well, no, they, that, they just believe it irregardless. Oh, they just said it would be great if we just died. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, and and you have to understand that Jewish thought is similar to the other cultures' thoughts that some teacher comes along with this teaching thing and people go, oh yeah, I'd like to do, I'd like to believe that. Oh yeah, I'd like to believe mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. like it happens in the Muslims. There's there's thousands of sects of, Mus of Muslim. You don't think that because mm -hmm. there's, I don't know, thousands of, of different denominations or whatever in, in Christendom. So tens of thousands, <laughs> tens of thousands. Okay. So <laughs> it's not uncommon for people to have off the wall thoughts, but these guys, get into power with it. The Herodians got into power, the Pharisees got into power, the Sadducees got into power, and, and they grouped. So so they, they were a voting block, uh, or a terrible thing to do because it's religious as well. Birds of a feather. Okay. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, keep reading on that um, message, please. Yeah. Uh, so they asked, this is the uh, possibility of resurrection and the uh, man who dies childless. Teacher, uh, Moses said that if a man dies childless, his brother is obligated to marry his widow and father a child with her. Here's a case where there were seven brothers. First, married, uh, first brother married and died, leaving no child, and his wife passed to his brother. His wife passed to his brother. 
Second brother also left her childless, then the third, and so on to all seven. Eventually, the wife died. Now, here's the question. At the resurrection, whose wife is she? She was a wife to each of them. So in other words, if there's a resurrection, how can there be a resurrection if this is what calamity comes of it? That's what they're trying to say. Yes. Verse 29, Jesus answered, you're off base on two counts. You don't know what God said, and you don't know how God works. And you're like religious authorities. There you go. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. At the resurrection, we're beyond marriage. As with the angels, all our ecstasies and intimacies then will be with God. Very I think that's very important to grasp. You under, uh, that all your ecstasies and intimacies will be with God in the life to come. If that doesn't appeal to you, <laughs> don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and regarding your speculation on whether the dead are raised or not, don't you read your Bibles? <laughs> <laughs> the grammar is clear. God says, I am, not I was. That's the, in, emphasizing the portion, that, that it, the importance of that, um, that uh, title, that um, moniker, that um, I am. Yes. Present tense, always present tense, always alive. But not I was, I am, I'm not I was, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. So I'm a living God, I am, they are, um, and they are alive. The living God defines himself not as the God of the dead men, but of the living. Hearing this exchange, the crowd was much impressed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Lord, we thank you that you are the God of the living. We thank you that you are the God of the resurrection. We thank you that we can render to you the things that we should render to you. We'd ask for your blessing on our lives in this Christmas season, that, that, our, that our hearts will be lit up with your joy, peace, and power. Transform me, O oh Lord, so I can make a difference in these desperate and dangerous times. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Yes, thank you again, Lord, for the instruction that you provided us here. We thank you that <laughs> for Jesus, Lord God, for the answers you you provide so simple and straightforward, uh, the truth without any variation, that uh, we have these definite uh, guideposts to uh, shape our life, to better it, to develop it, that we may bring glory to you. May it be so in Yeshua's name. Oh, dear Lord, thank you for clearly explaining what is uh, clearly something that people can argue over, <laughs> uh, whether the uh, life after death is uh, something that exists. And we can see here that life after death is something that has to happen, yeah. because once you know us, oh, infinite God, you cannot forget us. And you know us as we don't even know ourselves. So living is just knowing you <laughs> and life after death is just you knowing us Amen. and so thank you for making that very clear yes. we know that uh, in jesus christ the sacrifice cleanses us and we yeah. are resurrected again yeah and therefore we can be perfected to live in your presence which is wonderful and we can be cleansed of these earthly sinly bodies and rise again in perfect flesh and be with you and work towards improving ourselves for all eternity in your image. So thank you for that. In Jesus' name, I Amen. pray. Amen. Blessings Amen. to you all. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Yeah. Well, we'll see you it's before that, I hope. Time of year. <laughs> yeah. It's winter. <laughs> <laughs> Micah sings